Hi, I'm David Oakes, and I am a psychiatric survivor. I'm about to turn 57, but when I was a teenager, I was in the mental health system several times. Uh, one of the main times was a, as a troubled college student. I was a working class kid going to Harvard. I encountered a lot of mental and emotional problems, and five times I ended up in psychiatric institutions. And I was diagnosed uh, schizophrenic, bipolar, clinical depression, schizophreniform, uh, diagnosed psychotic. I would see and hear things other people didn't. Uh, I had, uh, you know, major, major problems like breaking a window and, and thinking the CIA was making my teeth grow and thinking the TV was only talking to me. And I knew I needed some kind of help. But when I went into the mental health system, it was forced drugging, uh, solitary confinement, and I knew that the, you know, there had to be better help than this. So you know, my message to other people that were labeled, you know, when you're a teenager like I was at 19, is uh, that there's hope. The most hopeless time for me, though, wasn't when I was forcibly drugged on a mattress. It was when uh, Harvard psychiatrists sat with me a few feet away from me and he said, David, you have a genetic biochemical imbalance. Uh, it's like diabetes, you're gonna have to be on these psychiatric drugs for the rest of your life. Now I'm pro-choice about taking a psych drug, but that drug was really, really powerful. I could feel it affecting me in so many different ways, physically, mentally, intuitively, I knew I didn't wanna spend my life uh, pickled, you know, heavily drugged. And so that's the moment that I felt my most hopeless. I felt like, oh my God, just to survive and to live, I'm going to have to, I'm different genetically from everybody else, and I'm going to have to be on these chemicals. And it was very isolating and very overwhelming. And that is the moment, uh, in fact, that helped inspire me to be involved in this campaign. I got better. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm perfect or other people have reached some perfection. But uh, this idea that I was going to stay forever uh, labeled and forever in the mental health system, it was just plain wrong. And, 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 and it could have led to uh, extreme hopelessness. I could easily see how it could lead to suicide. Uh, so I want people to know that you know many of us have been through this, have been through these heavy-duty labels. I used peer support. I used uh, nutrition, exercise, spirituality, nature, uh, counseling. Uh, I used all of these methods and many more uh, for my own personal recovery. And, and it's an ongoing process. I think to be human, we are all wrestling with these uh, overwhelming issues of being alive and existing. So we're all using all of these methods to 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 be able to give back. I think that's the ultimate recovery is to be able to help others. So, you know, hold on, there is hope. And also, if you can tell your story, I'd encourage you to tell your I Got Better story in part of this campaign and go viral, come out of the closet. You may help save a life of a young person like me who just felt totally overwhelmed and isolated. Uh, and to hear a message that other people have been there that there's hope, and in fact, there's an entire international movement of, for these last 40 years of thousands and thousands of psychiatric survivors and mental health consumers and allies working to change the mental health system that, you know, there's a lot of hope. And uh, I think one of the main hopeful things is you can help other people uh, too. So thanks. I want to add that I lead a pretty happy life, in, I mean, in the sense that uh, Certainly, we're dealing with a lot of issues in the world and the environmental crisis and the climate crisis and all of that, but that I get a ton of support from people. I have a wonderful wife, Deborah, that gives me a lot of support. We, we live in a, in, a, in a beautiful little up space with a garden, and uh, I direct Mind Freedom International, which is uh, a human rights organization that's helping people every day. Uh, so, uh, so when I was told that it was hopeless, that I was going to be a mental patient forever, uh, I, it would have helped to know that, uh, no, I could, I could get out of that, uh, that trap 
and uh, that you know I got better in the sense that I'm 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 a citizen. I'm helping people. I'm supporting people. I'm a leader in the psychiatric survivor movement, and there are a lot of us out there. So, I got better. You can too. Please tell your I got better story. Thanks.